Hello guys, this is Anish Rijia with the modeling tutorial how to model items. And as you can see, I already failed at making this video once. So find this item PNG in your Minecraft folder. So go to your Minecraft folder. Go to your home. Um, I know how to do it in Mac. There's something in Windows. You go to App Data and what have you. I don't know what it is, but you should know how to do this already. Application support. Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft, Alliance, Minecraft. If you want, you can right click and make an alias. I've already done that and I have put it on my on in this folder. And it's just basically a shortcut, so now I'm already there. And now we want to go to the bin. Minecraft make right click on the Minecraft.jar, open it with archive utility, or make it compress it and open it as a zip and you get a Minecraft folder. Then go to items and oh no. GUI and find the items PNG here, copy and paste it in your folders and open it up in uh, Photoshop. And now I want to make redstone, so let's find the 16 by 16 size, which is the Minecraft size. Uh, so just try and estimate how big it is. So now press Alt Command I to see the image size. That's horrible, it's not 16 by 16, it's 14 by 14. And we need 16 by 16, otherwise it won't work. Your modeling, it's a new t way of modeling in Cinema 4D, which I found out by myself. So that looks about right, I hope. Command, all command, I, yeah, that's right. So now you want to save it, make sure you have everything, press all command S to save as and everything is here image size go to image size and you should have this and you can see 16 by 16 and now we want to save it save it in a an appropriate name and appropriate folder because if you move it from that folder the cinema 4d can't find it so press all command s save as and i've already saved it so yeah save it as that and now we want to go to image uh, image rotation Go to flip canvas horizontal and it should flip it around. Save that as redstone back or something. And then we should load it into Cinema 4D. So we right click. Oh, let's, let's do this again. Click on this. Click on make a new texture. Double click there. On alpha. Load the texture you made. So I'm just going to load it again. Press yes. I just pressed no for no reason. And right click here. Copy and right click here and paste and press none put none otherwise it'll be blurry and you have your texture here so I already brought it in so now let's make a new cube so click here new cube by the way you can use this method in all items including yeah in all items so go to object size 200 100 and 6.25 which is a pixel in Cinema 4D, 6.25 equals a pixel in Minecraft. So put the x-axis at 16, uh, the segments on the x-axis at 16, and this at 16, and this at 1. So now it has, now it's like pixels, these are equivalent to a pixel. And now you want to face select, so click on the face select, make it editable, and we can just name this redstone something, and I am not going to make all the items, you have to make them by yourself, I have no time. Um, press function F4 now and go into front view and just select all of this, faster ways like that. And now press function F1 or just F1 if you don't have a Mac. And now drag your redstone front texture on there. And as you can see it's aligned perfectly to that. And now hold control and just deselect all of these. Here in the middle, oh, yeah, I don't know any other easier way than this. This is the way I figured it out. I figured out this way of doing. Um, yeah, this might take a while actually. If you make a mistake, don't worry, you always have the undo button. Oh, that's, that's a good thing. Okay, delete that. Hope I didn't miss anything. Yep, I missed one over here. Delete it. And yeah, that's about right. Um, 
now we want to press UL and we get this tool and just select all of that delete that and now we should have just a redstone piece here and now we want to right click and go to bridge and click on your side tool or whatever tool that is called and select the sides and just drag it across like that onto your other plane and this is how uh, I made this is how you can model uh, all the minecraft blocks with the bridge I yeah it took a while to figure out because I'm not very good at modeling but I manage <laughs> um, yeah this is gonna take a while I'm gonna be right back okay guys I'm back if you're having problems please tell me uh, okay now we wanna select all the faces here and just delete them. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Now everything else is just straightforward, I guess. And I am pretty new to Cinema 4D, but I learned a lot really fast. And people keep telling me all these things, like, how did you learn this? And oh, what is that over there? Uh, select that. Uh, come on, what is that? Go to extrude or something. Uh, I'm just gonna try something here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just that's a weird bug or something. Yeah, you hold X, you click on extrude, and you can select it after you hit extrude. So as I was saying, I was pretty new to Cinema 4D, but I learned a lot really fast. So just out of luck, I think. Oh, probably because I used Blender before, which is almost really hard or something to learn. I'm going to try out Maya, and I'm going to tell what the difference is. And I might actually, because Maya was used in the production of uh, Avatar, so I'm just going to see what's so good about it. So now just drag your back texture on it. And now we have our texture, now we just need the sides. The sides you don't have to be exact really, you can just grab this this one, crop it, oh, crop this piece over here, and name it redstone side or something, oh I wrote that wrong, so now I didn't already do this, so well, let me just put this in the appropriate fold because Otherwise, I don't want to move the PNG. If I move it, there will be problems loading the image. That's what happened in my downloads. So for some reason, some textures were gone missing. So now, so select your redstone. Press U L again. Nope, not delete. Press U L. Face select and select. Oh. Select this. Load the texture of specular. Depends on what you have done, and put that in there. And we have redstone. Yeah. So in the render, it looks fine, and we just have our redstone right here. And yeah. So that's how you make items in Minecraft. And hope you enjoy this tutorial. That I will try in my best to find out uh, other things. And other tutorials on what to do. Make sure to watch my grass movement tutorial. And I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make TNT explode in a realistic way. And I've already made a TNT that explodes like in Minecraft. But I will make a tutorial later. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And bye.